Okay, here we are back in Wild Arms. Where we last left off, Rudy returned to the group. We got a secret tool for some purpose that even I don't know about. It's that secret, I'm afraid. And we need to get out of here. So I could teleport, but it's literally, like, right here. <laughs> it's probably actually faster for me to run it than it is for the loading animations. Yeah, I probably should just use the skates. <laughs> So we'll see what's going on at Adelheid and go from there. Um, I'll be okay from here. I'm going to go back to town to continue my work on reforesting the land. Not out of guilt, but out of love. I want to do what I can to save guy, a land full of wonderful people. You've changed my life. Thank you, everybody. You're late. Where the hell were you? My lady was so worried. Nah, there's something going on. We must get back to Adelheid Castle. <laughs> That's convenient. It's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. What? What are you talking about? What is incredible? Professor Emma's invention is finished. The flight machine is done. The strange-looking contraption in her lab actually flies. A machine that can fly. It is said that a thousand years ago there was a vehicle that could travel to the stars. How can you fly using current technology? I have no idea how it works. Professor Emma has been researching flight mechanisms for a long time. You know, the Emma motor was invented for this machine. For a long time she said it didn't have enough power to fly yet, but... Why now? I'm not sure. It was a lot of information for me to digest. Speaking of digestion, she was checking out the Earth Golem's stomach while we were gone. Better hurry or we'll miss the test flight. Crazy Captain. What's his name is going to be the test pilot? He's scared of heights. Imagine a grown man whining and crying. I'm sorry to hear that. There, it's coming this way. Oh, shoot. That crazy captain. Now she's invented the landing gear. Wow, that was scary. We didn't have enough power to maneuver into the upper atmosphere. We need to start on the modifications right away. Rudy, it's good to see you're up about again. Where's the captain? There's always a price to pay for progress. We should all go visit him later. But first, I wanted you to meet someone. I think that's supposed to be a J there. Angie would be her name. Anjie? We'll stick with Angie. Before the introductions, I would like to report my findings. This is the Guardstone. What? There's instability in the Guardian's energy. The Guardstone is responding very erratically. There's some problem to the southeast, far away. I'll continue with my observations. Is something happening to the Guardians? I don't have any confirmation, but it's worth a look. We must use... But I thought it wasn't completed yet. If only we had the Gemini circuits. If we had the ancient Gemini circuits, we could increase the power of the Emma motor. We need a pair of them in order for them to work. Let's split up into two teams. Jane, your team will take to the sea with the cat and fetch him from the hospital. Rudy and Gang will use the new machine that I created for them. Come with me, Rudy. I'll show you my secret laboratory. A secret laboratory? Where could it be? No one knows. That's why it's called a secret laboratory. there's a secret facility under Adelheid Castle. There you go again with another crazy idea. Isn't this illegal? Someone stop this crazy professor. I wasn't sure what I was getting into, so I didn't bother getting a permit. <laughs> okay, light it up. Here it is. Surprise. The result of Zeppet's studies on the theories of flight, the metal bird, and my Emma motor. I was able to create this flying machine by combining the two technologies. At last, my dream is finally becoming a reality. I'm going to name it the Gullwing. The name of the Holy Bird. No, it's a prototype. How about the Protowing? All that steam over a prototype. The thing can't even fly. We all saw it crash. According to my wisdom, what goes up must come down. 
As long as you don't get caught in a high altitude jet stream, you'll be okay. Somehow you don't sound too convincing. In this world, you can only count on two things. Our loveful guy and my technology. In order for me to complete the proto wing, I must have a pair of Gemini circuits. Gemini means twins. Thus, they will not work unless we bring the two Gemini circuits together. Jane's group will go by sea and your group will go by air. Get back as soon as you can find the Gemini circuits. What is the repair status of the proto wing? Stop wasting time. Hurry up. Repair is complete. It can take off at any time. Those people. Yeah, they're the same guys that were helping me with the Lolithia dig. Emma is being a slave driver as usual. Shut up and send the machine to gate 14. Okay, ready? Proto wing, take off. Shouldn't we be in? Okay. So I was to say, shouldn't we be in it before it takes off, but they're actually just lifting it up from under the castle. Oh, there go the trees over there. Must have been painted on or something. To ride the proto wing, walk to the proto wing and push the accept button. Land, push the cancel button. You can't land in a forest or on the water. It doesn't have enough power to fly over mountains. Just a prototype. Hey, it even has mode 7. No. Meh. Can I open the map while I'm in here? What have we here? Oh, isn't this where Jack started? Do we need a grappling hook here? I don't remember. Listen, Jack, we must think this time. Here we go, get it right this time. Emiko. Match found. I am the guardian of the temple of memory. Oh, rightful heir of the memory. Prepare to receive the knowledge. Graph. Press graph. Holy parasol. Controls. Do you want me to turn the machine on? What happens if you do? Seek not Lolithia. She sleeps in her tomb. Lolithia's icy breath can only destroy. Seek not Lolithia in her tomb. The ill have departed. Seek not Lolithia, for she is bound in the land of light. She is the death wind. The heartbeat of annihilation in absolute destructive power. I wonder if they give us clues about the other golems or something I could work with, but here we are. It's 
So I wonder if that parasol actually makes you like immune to magic damage or anything. Um, uh, what is this place? Heaven Corridor. Eh, let's check it out. I don't think I have that many keys here. This is the Heaven's Corridor, a tower of gifts to those who want to attain higher magic from the Mage D. Ah, so this is needed for Cecilia's double cast. And in case you had any doubts. say the jinx here. Haven't seen any random encounters yet. Magic carrot. Got a thousand of the currency as a reward. Otherwise the enemies here are kind of on the weak side. How many of these do I need? Crestcraft. Crestcraft. That was kind of a waste. Wisdom, do you want to read it? Why do you seek higher magic? If you want to bring light to the world, then go to the hidden nature of the obscured place. There the innocent must cast its light. Let's... Why do you seek? If you bring light to the world, go to the hidden nature of the obscured place. Hidden nature of the obscured place. Okay, the Goblin Lord enemy can uh, do a bit of damage. Sound of Door unlocked to the west. So I wonder if that was the door that. Pandemonium. There is an ancient demon castle located on the east end of the inner sea. The smell of a thousand-year-old evil still lingers on the desolate isle. I'm trying to remember, have we seen the Pandemonium place yet? Magic of the Warding. You can ward off unwanted guests by using magic that sends them back to the entrance. If you seek higher magic, you should undo this warding gate. to see them, or did I just get really, really lucky last time? supposed to use Hanpon. Damn it. Okay, let's get the skates out. If they want me to backtrack this much, we're going to have to try to get around it. I don't know if I can still get encounters on this 
of the ladders there, but this place is just a headache. That was a gnome and two garums for 3,000, so not really the greatest, but every little bit, I guess. Crestcraft, seriously? Okay, I wasn't sure if this was a real save point or some sort of trap. But now if they kick me back to the entrance, I'm just going to reload. Yeah, that is exponentially faster than walking. So... Am I supposed to grab that? Like, the asymmetry there is what makes the difference. I just can't figure out where it's coming into play at. Okay, we... Okay, that's what it was. I was overthinking that by a lot. <laughs> So then they give me this thing. Plan B, I guess. <laughs> Is 
there something here I'm not seeing? Successor has arrived. Many trials have proven your worth. You shall receive the art of the ultimate sorcery. I must warn you, do not drown yourself in this power, for the essence of sorcery is not the size or the effect of a spell, but the utilization of wisdom. You must purify your magic through wisdom. My successor, you shall master the elements through purity and execution. Dual cast acquired. So yeah, I hate this place. Let's blow this pop stand. So now the question is, what else can I find in my explorations? something here would be really helpful. What was this place again? Guardian Shrine. Okay, since I couldn't find anything else to do, I figured, you know what, I'm going to go try to grind these guys, and after a really long time, I finally ran into them. So, I am just going to try to lay into them with everything I've got, and pray for the best. So I'll be firing off with a high blast, since that'll attack both of them. Holy crap. I was reading these guys have like as much HP as a boss would. <laughs> this is their dangerous ability from what I read. Hits you with every single status. I believe it's the white robe that will do status lock. I don't even know what this does. If I were to... Actually, it probably would nullify everything.
this is turn one. Oh, great, he has disease. Actually, I do want to do High Guardian here. This will be turn three. This is really risky because I'm not going to have my lock enemy for next turn. Never mind. Seems like it already expired. enough here. So this will nuke them and heal us. In case you're wondering, yes, I did test this off camera already. Just not against them. Green mean they're going to get a crit or something, I wonder? Because I've seen that ha pop up when they lose their sass effects. Just I don't know what it happens when they use it on their own. Luckily we get to dodge that bullet. I really don't know how rare of an encounter these guys are, I just want to say that they're really high based on my experience here. It's just, there's always a chance I just got a really, really bad RNG roll. But now that they've been knocked down to one, I mean, it's just a matter of time.
It might be immune to it for all I know. I'm gonna double tap a lucky shot to see if we can just end it like that. It actually does deal damage. I wonder why it was different from the Necronomicon. Anyway, I think this will be it. Firing off Saint. If I had actually tracked its HP, we probably could kill it with a lucky shot, but it's dead anyway. Let's see if we got a duplicator drop. 40,000 EXP, Rudy leveled up, Cecilia leveled up, 30,000. No duplicate, I should have used a lucky card, because I could have bagged 60 grand off that. But yeah, if you want to see on the world map where I'm at, it's this island all the way down here. Just really rare enemy, and I don't know if there's a good way to get them to spawn or not. So yeah, I will hop over to the next point of interest.